So once you've installed Kali, there's four things that you want to do immediately. The first thing we're going to do, let's change our password from the default Kali to something else. So to do that, we're gonna open up the terminal, the top left corner of your screen, this black box, click on that. I'm gonna make my terminal bigger so you can see. There we go. And then once in the terminal, we're going to type pass WD. Hit enter. Now you're gonna enter your current password, which is probably Kali. If you've already changed it, then you can skip this step. Once you enter the current password, you're gonna type the new password. And we're gonna retype it. Boom, updated successfully. Okay, clear the screen, we're gonna hit clear. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the default password for the root account. So to do that, we're going to do sudo pass wd root. We're going to enter the password for your Kali account. It should be the new password you entered. Now we're going to hit the new password, but for the root account. We're going to retype it. And there we are. We have changed the default passwords to our Kali account and our root account. Great job. So the next thing we want to do is we want to update and upgrade our system. Kali Linux comes with over 600 packages and tools that get updated regularly. So we want to make sure we get the latest and greatest. So we're going to do it now that we just downloaded it. But you also want to do this regularly. So to update it, we're going to hit the command up apt update. Actually, before we do that, we have to be root. So to be root, just type sudo su. Boom, and your root. It might ask you for your password, and if, if so, just put in your Kali password. Okay, so now we're going to do apt update. Just let it download. Notice how it's getting, right? It's getting all of these contents, these packages. That's what it's doing. It tells you the size of each one. It's gonna read the package lists. It's gonna build a de dependency tree to make sure everything connects and works together. Read the state information. And now it says 36 packages can be upgraded. Notice that the update updates the packages. Now we can upgrade those packages, which means that we're going to install the packages that we just updated. So we're going to do just that. So we're going to upgrade. So we're going to type apt upgrade. Do you want to continue after this operation? 678 kilobytes of additional disk will be used. Do you want to continue? Yes. So just type Y enter. And we're just going to let it run. Notice how it's unpacking and preparing, unpacking and preparing. So it's unpacking the packages that we just updated with the apt update command. And now it's unpacking them and it's installing them. So we're just going to let this run. Give it a little bit of time. Yes. And we are there all set. So we're going to clear our screen by typing in clear enter. Okay. Fantastic. So now that we have done those, um, three things the next thing we want to do is that we want to install git we want to type apt install git okay so here when i type this in because i already have it it's just telling me that git is already the newest version the following packages were automatically installed and are no longer required Okay, so your screen is going to look a little bit different. If it asks you or you have any prompts, just type Y enter and boom, it's going to be done. If you want to confirm that it installed, all you have to do is type get. And then there you go. It's going to be green. Another thing you can do is get hyphen H. Or we can do man get and there you go. And that's the manual for the Git function. The reason we downloaded Git is because this is going to allow you to download Git repositories from different people online 
and you're going to be able to download their tools, their packages, their word lists, things that you will definitely need as you practice your penetration testing skills, your ethical hacking skills. So this is a must have a tool for anybody who has Kali or doing pen testing. So to quit the manual, you just press Q. Okay, so we did the top four things that everybody should do after installing Kali Linux. Um, stay tuned for my next videos. I'm going to show you how to install some other tools that don't come pre-installed with Kali as well as how to create a network so you can create your own virtual lab and how to create a share folder between your host computer and your Kali virtual machine. Until next time, bye.